We're learning Hillel's Shreifa Perek Beis Halacha Tes. Uzman Azet. Today, in our times, hopefully Shachor Beis Hamikdash, the temple is destroyed. Kol Mokim Sheish Be Bezdin Kavua. Any place that has a, a set Bezdin, he shall he is some of Eretz Yisrael, and it should be. A bezin that of people that have been given smith and eretz yisrael taken by Bishabas. You blow on Shabbos. Let's go down to the Pirish according to the Takana of Yechonim and Zakai that we clarified in the previous halacha that in eretz yisrael where there's a bezin you would do so. Bezin samach. What does it mean? A bezin that has smith that was given ordination, meaning that they. I have received ordination man from man to Moshe Rabbeinu. As you find in the Sanhedrin, uh, chapter 4, Halacha Aleph. Every Sanhedrin of Bezin, large or small, one of the three must be there who has been given ordination back to time to Yeshua, who is the, who is the only one that received ordination from Moshe Rabbeinu. In the continuation, the Alma will tell us that it's enough that the person who was ordained, they call him Rebbe, they give him permission to give the aloha even regarding fines which are not valid except for a business that has ordained rabbis and Moshe Rabbeinu. This is only an Eti and only if it's an established business that's in a permanent status. What does a permanent status mean? That all you saw appointed that Bezin to judge their laws, whether it's a large standard of 71, or a small standard of 23, or even a Bezin of 3. A the Bezin, they just got together, but no one appointed them, but they're only there for the, pro for the necessity of the time, you, they, you would not blow in that city where such a Bezin is found. Ram continues, in Turkey and Bishamas, you don't blow in Shabbos, but the Bezin Shekitur is a Chodesh. Only in the Bezin that would have been able to say that the month has, uh, that the witnesses, except the witnesses, or have seen the new moon, as Rosh Hashanah 38. Our Shabbat Edinim, but other Bezdins ain't taken by him. One cannot blow out of Bishahin Smuchin, even though they are appointed. Even though they're in Eretz Yisrael, they have it. They have one judge who is ordained. Some of the people, there are texts that take out best not go to which be seventy-one, and he says you that you don't blow only in front of the large bezdin. 371 or Bezdin alone calls man shame as long as they are in session, Yojvin, which is the half of the day as we learned before. Afilu Ninau, even if they just got ready to get up, Lamoid, they can if name you can blow since they're all there. Alahutra Bezdin ain't taken, but outside of the Bezdin one cannot blow. Lama Toykin Dafkin with name Bezdin. Why do you blow only in front of a Bezdin? Your Bezdin is reason him because Bezdin are careful and quick. And the, those who blow it will not come to pass the shofar in front of the Bezdin in, in the public thoroughfare. So Bezdin was Horan as here and so on. The Bezin warns the people, and we let them know, you're going to blow, you have to know, you can only blow if you have it here, but you can't bring it. And if we're not concerned about it, since Bezin are diligent, they will not come to blow uh, the Shafer outside of the Bezin in the public thoroughfare. Now we're beginning the Rambam Halacha Yud. Today, Sheonu Oisin Shneyom Begolus, that we have two days of Rosh Hashanah in the exile. Yeder Shetoykim Berishon, 
same fashion that you blow the first thing, taken. Let's go down to the Pirush, just Kedesh, taken, Berishin, just the same way that you blow the first thing, taken, Bishin, you blow the second thing. And Chalim, Rishin, Liyas, Bishamas, the first one is on Shabbos, and for the reason the Ramos is the first one, because today, according to our calendar, it, you can never have the second day fall on Shabbos, because of the, there's a rule in the order of the calendar, Loi Adu Roish, meaning Sunday, which is the Aleph, and Wednesday and Friday cannot be Rosh Hashanah. That can never be, and therefore, um, Sunday cannot be the first day of Rosh Hashanah. But here we have a Bezdin and and therefore, if the first day is Shabbos and there was no Bezdin there, Taken Bishani and Bavad, you only blow the second day of Rosh Hashanah. Because the Mishnah questions the words of the Hachom and forwards and backwards. From one, one point, it would seem that he's discussing the time that you do not sanctify the new moon according to people seeing witnesses standing they saw it. From the other aspect, he writes, where there's no Bezin Kavua, you blow only on the second day. And today, it would seem... There is no Bezdin which can blow in front of it because they don't establish the months. And he clarifies that Rambam, part of his words are talking about when they did have witnesses. And that time, any any other Bezdin you cannot blow since we don't know if the Bezdin that establishes the month, establishes the month or not, and Rosh Hashanah took place, or they haven't established the new moon. And today, it is therefore the day that we're blowing, and it's still not Rosh Hashanah. Therefore, you cannot blow, except in a basin that sanctifies the new moon, and we know that it's Rosh Hashanah, even though it's Shabbos. It wouldn't be Shabbos is not a problem. But today, that the, that the festivals are established according to a reckoning. Everyone knows it. We do two days. Therefore, in every Bezdin that's a Kavua and has a person that has been ordained, you blow according to the Rambam on Shabbos. All of our words, if we say that the Rambam is talking on today's situation, but it would seem to be more correct to say he wrote the Lalocha that they did, it for the time when they did uh, sanctify the new moon because of the witnesses. Just like he writes about lochas that only take place during the Beis HaMikdash, like purity and impurity and offerings. Even though today we do not practice them because we can't, therefore he writes this din or the Ifnei Bezim on the second day meaning any best. We learn now that the opinion of the Rambam is only a said best in, in front of a said best in, that has ordained person and that's Yisrael, you blow on Rosh Hashanah that fell on Shabbos. And the Maga Mishnah writes that that's the main understanding of the Rambam. That's, the, that's his position. Even though that the Riv would seem that this would apply to every best in, even if it's not ordained. And uh, so they said, witness that they used to blow before the riv on Rosh Hashanah that happened on Shabbos, and every play because his best was or was the special bezin. But this was not something that was accepted by even by his disciples. Only on a bezin that had somebody who was ordained. The Torah writes that the riv they used to blow in the bezdin of the riv. And they relied on the Dakon of Yechem and Zakai, and explains every bezin even of three. But that's not the custom, because all the other commentaries explain that bezin means 23, which is a small Sanhedrin. The Rosh, Rosh Hashanah, chapter 4, 
Aleph explains the reasoning of the Riv. He says every place where there's a Bezdin, it doesn't mean Sanhedrin. It means a Bezdin of outstanding uh, luminaries, great men of the generation. The Rosh said witness that the disciples of the Riv did not do so. The Ran is a different reason. It would seem from a Beloza on the Taikona of Abiyachem and Zakai. He says that he only established it to be blown in Yavna alone. They said to him, no, Yavna in every place that has a Bezdin. And the Gemara understood that we're talking about a Bezdin of three, so that you blow it any place. And there, that's what the Rift relied on to say any Bezdin of outstanding uh, scholars. The Ran disagrees on the understanding of the Rift. And his opinion is that e even though it's enough three, it doesn't have to be an established Bezdin. The Rambam's uh, opinion is that once the Be Beis Amish was destroyed, any place with a Bezdin and they are ordained and in Eretz Yisrael, even if they're not a set place, you blow on Shabbos the Shafer. And this is also the opinion of the Baal Hamor.